chug along without somebody. How is cancer personal to me? Uh, cancer is personal to me because uh, I had a very close cousin who uh, just all of a sudden just got sick out of nowhere and uh, you know it was very quick and very aggressive. Um, I was diagnosed with cervical cancer um, when I was pregnant with my second child. My brother who is a, an army veteran came back from uh, the Iraqi wars and was driving with his wife and pulled over and ended up having three grand mal seizures and they found out that he had a stage three brain cancer. I lost the, uh, the greatest person that I know to cancer. I have an aunt who's kind of like the backbone of our family, was diagnosed with cancer a few years ago, went into remission and it's back like full force all over again. So she's battling that right now. Uh, I lost my father to cancer in December. He had uh, pancreatic cancer. It went very quick. Um, he was diagnosed right after Thanksgiving and he died shortly before Christmas. A doctor told him on my 21st birthday that he had lung cancer and had six months to live. Cancer doesn't discriminate. I've learned this. It only eviscerates. It eviscerates hope, goals, ambitions. I would never wish that upon anybody, what he had to go through. If they were with me right now, I would love to tell them I love them and I miss them. I tell her that her daughter is doing good. She's growing up really well. She's going into a really great young lady. If my grandfather was still with me, um, I would tell him how much I miss him. Um. If Mike were with me right now, I'd just tell him that I miss him and love him. I feel bad he had to go through that. If I could talk to him right now, if he was with me, definitely tell him I love him, uh, that I miss him. If my dad was with us here today, I would um, want to know. I would hope he is proud of us for what we're doing to try to find a cure. I like to hope that a cure is possible. I definitely do think there's a cure possible. I do think a cure is possible for cancer. I think one day there's a chance that there'll be a cure. We're trying to help in any way we can. And I, I, I do think a cure is possible. And it'll be found. Yep. I thought today was really important for us to come out here to Navy Pier where we have this event, but to come out here and talk to people everyday people, people from all over the country or all over the world who are walking up and down the pier just to find out why cancer is personal to them. These are testimonials from people to the people that they love and we have a, a, a great responsibility to put that into action. It's not one type of cancer, it's not one type of fight, everyone has the opportunity to get involved. That's why we've been doing this for 17 years, it's people coming together to change the cancer world. Because when I think about one in three people getting cancer, I have a wife, I have a son, and I have a daughter. And I don't want any of them to get cancer. So that's why we're doing this. And I'm not gonna let it happen.
I'm not going to let them get cancer because we're going to find a cure.